The amount of expertise that are gathered in one room in this specific industry, for somebody that's still learning about the industry and trying to make as many connections as possible, it's really the place to be. Every year it keeps the kind of outdo itself, the audience, the crowd it brings, uh, and not to mention the, uh, the lunch options as well. venue seems to be a lot more open and the quality of conversations this year I think we've spoken to people literally from across the world so for me yes there's a business bit about you know we want to do more stuff but actually for me it's all about seeing friends and colleagues I wish James is a dear friend of mine thank you thank you very much oh, that's very kind of you I'm glad we get on let's go see what's happening let's let's talk to some people and see if we can we can offer the solutions that we offer in, in film and TV to, to, to this sector. I like these kind of events. I think they're important and specifically for people that are not from the industry because everyone else, they know each other. It's a very small family. Broadcast and esports are merging more and more into one because esports has developed so much. A lot of naive people still think that esports is just people sat in the rooms on Twitch. It's a lot more than that and we've, we've recognised that and we embrace that. We get to learn now about Counter-Strike, how the entire market is structured, the ecosystem, but we also get to know Get Right as a person. and see if I get one kill on him. I don't play the game, but it'd be cool if I just get one kill. It's a dream, right? It is a dream, yes. Yeah. <laughs>